Let's talk a little bit about how receptacles work. All right, first and foremost, a lot of people call these things plugs. They're not plugs. A plug is the thing that you stick into the receptacle. It receives, it is a receptacle. So uh, a receptacle is hooked up with these conductors coming in. You usually have a hot coming in, hot going out, right? So that's why you have two terminals. You've got a terminal for the two conductors that come into the device and a conductor uh, two that go out of the device. A couple of things about receptacles. A lot of times people don't know, but there's actually a stripping gauge on the back sides of receptacles. So it lets you know how much of the insulation that you actually have to strip off if you were gonna stab into the back of this thing. Usually if we bend hooks, we tend to strip out a little bit more than that just so the conductor can get all the way around the hook. But you'll notice too that all of these receptacles have a tab in between all of them. So the top one and the bottom one are both touching each other. It's the same one piece of metal. You can cut the tab like I've done on this one where you can separate the top and the bottom if you wanted to do something like switch one of the top ones and have one of the bottom ones go constant hot. But how the receptacle works is inside of here, there's actually pieces of metal behind this looks like this. When you plug a plug into the front of this, the plug actually inserts into a piece of metal. One of those pieces of metal is touching the hot side terminal and the other is touching the neutral. So when you plug into something, now you're extending from the wires through the device into the thing that you're plugging in. So power will come through the black, go into, you know, say we have a vacuum cleaner or something like that. It'll go into the vacuum cleaner and it'll go through and it's coiled together and it comes literally right back out and plugs into here. So the end of a cord, you can tone the end of a cord out and it's one solid piece of metal. It's just that it goes around, it wraps around a whole bunch around this motor and then it comes back. So when you energize that circuit, that coil will actually create a motion in that magnet and that magnet will start spinning and that's how a motor starts to work. But don't get it confused, inside of the motor, the hot and the neutral are not like independent of each other. They both attach, it's the same exact wire. They just color one of them coming out of the cable as white and one of them coming out as black. Um, anything else that you plug in, you plug in a toaster. The black goes out, wraps around the, the element of the toaster and it comes back into the neutral. When a plug is hot, when we say that a plug is hot, all we're saying is that there's a difference of potential. There's pressure available. You can kind of think as vo of voltage as pressure. There's a pressure to push current through conductors available. So there's nothing going on, but once you plug something in and you know turn the switch on, it allows that pressure to push and it allows the current to move through the circuit. You unplug it, there's no more movement. So every one of these plugs isn't actually doing anything. They're just ready and available to allow current to flow if the thing being plugged in is connected to a load. So that's how receptacles work. Discount music and video.